Detroit through the eyes of kids. At CompuWare headquarters downtown today, more than 100 Detroit middle school students unveiled their plans for future Detroit. So, what do the students want Detroit to be like 20 years from now? We're joining us right now live in our studio are three of the students who took part in the project. Alexis Hunt from the Paul Robeson Malcolm X Academy, Darius Moore from the Detroit Edison Public School Academy, and Amber Young also from the Edison Academy. So thank you all for coming in tonight. You all look so nice. So Alexis, let's start with you because you had to present your project in front of a lot of city leaders today. Tell me what's the competition like and what did you have to do well, for the Engineering Society of Detroit? Well, the competition is Future City, and just like you said, it's trying to say, like, what do we want as kids to our future of Detroit to look like from 20 years from now? Like, we had to think, and we had to use our mind and our imagination to see how do we want our city to look from 20 years from now. Darius, you all came up with an award-winning project, and I was really impressed by it when I saw it yesterday. Tell me about some of the special things in, in your model that you created for Future Detroit. Mm -hmm. Well, in our uh, model, we have vertical, we made vertical farms, which are supposed to feed uh, everybody in our city. Like we said, in, our, uh, in, in about 2060, it'll be 20, uh, 200 million people in Detroit. So we said we need about 60 vertical farms, and each vertical farm feeds about 500,000 people. So we said uh, if we we need to make all those vertical farms so we'd be able to feed all the people. And we also uh, start using solar panels to, for our number one uh, source of energy. And we also use our Legacy River to be our main second source. But we also have uh, regular sources of energy mm -hmm. just in case it was a cloudy day or a bad day when we didn't get the sun. Really, really impressive. Now, Amber, I, I talked to you yesterday as well. Tell me just what do you, what do you look forward to when you think about Detroit 20 years from now what would you like to see as a young person I would like to see higher employment rates and also less crime rates and also a better educational system and also more hospitals and more people actually looking for harder professions instead of going for the easy way out Wow now Alexis do you think that you as young people say you know 20 years from now you all will be the adults you will be the leaders I mean do you think some of your ideas can really take hold in Detroit you know if we have much confidence and faith, I do think that some of the ideals that we uh, have um, brought up, I think they can maybe come into real life. Tell me this, Darius. I had a number of kids talk about crime and even there not being enough food for kids in the city of Detroit. Do you worry about anything like that? Do you want something to happen about the crime rates in Detroit to make it safer? Yes, because uh, earlier today, uh, before we actually presented the project, me and my friend looked up the crime rates in Detroit, and we were actually number two out of the top five in the cities in the whole U.S. We were number two where crimes happen most year round. So we said, if by in the future, if the crime rates. Uh, stay in a pattern like this. Nobody will want to live in Detroit raise no kids. All right, Amber, I'm going to give you the last word. I mean, what do, what do you think about the crime rate and kids saying that they don't have enough food to eat in the city of Detroit? Do you think we can change that? I think we can change the crime rates because really people, when they think they have to do crime, is when they think that there is no other way out. But that's not the actual way you should think. And education is what will guide you through whether, yes, you can have a home, yes, you can have food, and yes, you can have a job, or even create your own job and be an entrepreneur. So when people want to be, and when people want to commit crimes, it's really because they haven't had a proper education, and they don't believe that they have enough education to go out into the world and do something for their own selves. Well, you know what? I look at all of you as our future leaders in the city of Detroit, and I hope all of your ideas take fold. And 20 years from now, maybe you'll run for office, and you'll be making the decisions in the city of Detroit. So thank you all for coming in tonight. Oh, I'm really impressed. All right, we're talking.